We'll have that in just a moment. Jody Shelley is settling in to uh, talk with me right now. And uh, th this was a fun game. Really, when it was all said and done, this was a blood and guts, figure it out kind of game. Yeah, um, it was, it was well, yeah, they figured it out. I like that phrase because it was like uh, so sloppy in the first. And you could sense the desperation of the Panthers. And uh, the Blue Jackets, I thought they just kind of grinded it and found a way. And it wasn't perfect. And, you know, it's interesting to watch the coaching staff down there because you get a different feel for it. There was a lot of plays where they were rolling their eyes and expecting more. So I kind of got in that mode a little bit and kind of watching to see what would happen. But uh, some great moments in the game. Bobrovsky made some huge saves. Those two breakaways for each team, one each uh, on those shorthanded plays, were huge. And I thought the Blue Jackets did a nice job penalty killing, as did the Panthers, but they got momentum from it. And then when they got that first goal, Zach Wierenski with that heads-up play, I mean, what is he doing way down there? If you look at the play, he just simply reads it and is on the quiet side of the ice, and he just whips it towards the net. And I don't know. I saw you just talk to him. Did he... Try to put it top shelf. There. No, he, he said he said he knew the goalie was down, and he said, "I, I really, I, it wasn't really a snipe." And I go, Are "You sure?" And he goes, oh. "Okay, I'll say it was a snipe." Oh, no, it was no he beautiful. read it. He read it, but he knew he had to shoot it high, so it finds a spot that he was hoping that it would find. I was that was a, a beautiful goal, and, and then from there, I, yeah, I guess I I felt like they scrambled and got one out. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And because they did that, let's take a look at the standings in the Metropolitan Division after everything that has happened tonight. And the Washington Capitals do get a point, and they get a point by uh, going to overtime before losing tonight. So they now sit two ahead of the Blue Jackets, who for the moment have passed the Pittsburgh Penguins. The Penguins have a game tomorrow night against New Jersey. But there are the Blue Jackets. That second spot, Jody, once again, you know what that means? Home ice advantage in the first round. Yeah, that, and that's crucial right now. I mean, that's where you're – it's funny that the Blue Jackets um, in a different position when, when, when we're talking about this, but you're right. These points are crucial right now. Not, forget just being in the playoffs. That's way afterthought. It's, it's the best seed. If you can host game number one and two to start against those Pittsburgh Penguins, uh, that's exactly what you want to do because, hey, this is a hostile place to play. And you can see tonight even the Blue Jackets found a way to stay confident. And 2-1 uh, game, no big deal. There was no real uh, no excitement or no – they didn't get nervous when – Florida pulled their, goal, pulled their goal either, and that's just a familiar place for this team. Just another penalty kill, really. Yeah, I mean, that's the way they, they kind of approach it. Even though Dubinsky didn't get the faceoff wins, they collapsed, they waited for Bob to make the save, and they, they got it at the end. Boone Jenner with a big block. Absolutely. He had a big one. There, there are, you can put a lot of guys on that list. Yeah. Tonight. Wenberg had another big block in yeah. this game tonight. Savard's always there. Right now, here's the Blue Jackets head coach, John Tortorella.